Okay, and we are recording. And hi. Hello. Hello, hi. Um, I'm Jim Suryani, and uh, just to let you know that this is a wonderful new experiment <laughs> that Center Stage Theater is doing. I just want to thank everybody for joining us whenever or wherever or however you're joining us, whether on Instagram or on other platforms. Um, this is Center Stage Theater in Santa Barbara, and this is their brand new digital arts festival that we're trying to trying out for um, while all of us are sheltering in place and dealing with um, quarantine and all that all around the world actually and uh, so center stage is very pleased to announce their digital arts festival and this is going to stream nightly at 7 p.m starting today <laughs> through april 30th through the whole rest of the month of april and during these challenging times, uh, Center Stage wants to create an outlet for artists of all kinds to share their work. And they will have dance, theater, music, film, visual arts, poetry, storytelling, and who knows what else, um, anything having to do with the arts. And um, I'm happy to participate. Um, again, my name is Jim Suryani, if you don't know. And I, um, I used to uh, work in radio, and now I'm trying out uh, doing interviews on video for the first time. This is my first, so I'm jumping into this for the first he's time. Doing great. It's what? You said he's doing great. Oh, somebody said that. No, I said I. I'm saying you know. Oh, oh, oh thank you. And uh, my first, my very first guest is Ali Ribsek. Ali is a videographer, and she works uh, has worked with uh, Robin uh, Bizio, who is a choreographer. And they've collaborated on a couple of videos and films. And we're going to dive into that and find out more about it. And um, Robin is a choreographer. She has uh, done both uh, film and uh, onstage choreography. And, uh, and Robin is joining us uh, today. Uh, or I mean, uh, Allie. <laughs> Sorry, Allie. Um, Allie, tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get into videography? Well, it's interesting because... I actually don't r really do videography too often. It's more a creative side passion for me. Um, but I work as a painter and illustrator. And through that, I get inspired through stills and photography. And um, that kind of transcended into me doing many kind of vintage eight millimeter style films. Um, little vignettes capturing a story. And so it's very playful for me. And Robin and I linked up and she had admired what I was doing. And that is the background she comes from. And so we both saw how our visions could kind of meet in the middle. Yeah, so tell me the story you were telling me before we, we got started here about how the two of you met. Um, you both met here in Santa Barbara. We did. Robin still lives there up on the Mesa. Um, and that's where I lived as well. So we were neighbors and following each other on Instagram without even realizing who the other person was. Um, all of her feed was beautiful stills of dancers and the films and a lot of nature. And I never put the face to the account. And one day I was riding my bike home and I'm stopping and she's crossing the crosswalk. And she says, love includes everyone, which is my Instagram handle. And I'm like, yeah, she said, Robin Bissio films. And I was like, you know, just a light bulb went off. And I, um, we just talked there. And then that really formed our friendship for about seven years now. Wow. For seven yeah. years. And uh, I understand you've, you both have collaborated on a couple of uh, films or videos. This was our first film that we did together. Um, but this is traditionally Robin's background, what she works with. Um, and this was my first time doing something with her in collaboration. Right, right. And um, one of the things I, I noticed here in your, um, in your bio, it says that you're a contemporary painter and a creative freelancer based in Laguna Beach now. Um, and I like what you say here. Everything in life is art is art making. Um, tell me a little bit about that quote. 
So I think an extension of my work, right? I paint all the time. I specialize in commissions and I've created a whole world with my career in painting. And aside from that, art feels like writing to me. Art feels like videography and making films and photography and cooking and decorating my house and putting an outfit together and you know capturing a moment of strangers and nature and I think for me the world around me feels like art landscape as art that's great I think that's a that's a wonderful um way to to look at life and to look at um, everything around you from a from an artistic eye if you will <laughs> Um, so, um, so tell us a little bit about, um, your paintings. What, what, what mediums do you like to work in? I, uh, primarily work with acrylic. So I do a lot of commission portraits of families, pets, landscapes, houses. Um, and then I might do a series or body of work. That's more just my inspiration coming through, not something that I'm making for a client. And then I sell that as well. Um, I do a lot of five minute painted portraits for events. With oh, like at so a festival or something? Or? Yeah, festivals, galas, charities, weddings, uh, a variety of events. Oh, um, oh fun. So, so how does that work, the, the five minute thing? How does that, how do you, um, how do you do that type of work? So it's like I w operate as an activation at an event. I have a table set up with the chairs and then guests at the event are invited to come sit with me. I'll take a photo of them and then I will vary in my abstract format to pick them in five minutes and then package it up. And then at the end of the event, they have this beautiful takeaway. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Now, is, is there a difference for you in the experience of being a collaborative artist as opposed to a solo artist? Is there a difference or, or, are, they, or are there similarities between collaborating with somebody versus just doing your own solo work? Well, I think it's a little bit of both and that collaboration doesn't have to necessarily mirror your practice. So, um, sometimes it's someone seeing your vision and they have the clients and they see you and they're collaborating from more of a business standpoint or something more objective, but you're more the product coming out, but maybe they have the platform or they have the resources to facilitate it. So right. for my painting work, it's a lot like that. And with my film with Robin, um, that was very collaborative. Um, that was both of us, I was holding the camera, but both of our visions coming into one, one lens at once. And so um, I think that's why we felt confident creating this together after years of just appreciating each other's creative practice, that we were able to be really fluent and cooperative with each other. It just was, it felt very organic. Tell me a little bit about the, the video um, I, f I forget the title of it, but um, many of the dancers were, it looked like it was like in a desert setting and many of the dancers were all in black from head to so, toe. So, um, Robin has done so many different films amongst different landscapes. However, this project was just working with one dancer and we okay. uh, filmed half of it in her backyard and then half of it down at the beach and uh, a field of flowers that we were walking by. So we were just right outside in Santa Barbara. Oh, okay, that was just in Santa Barbara then. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and then there was another video, I think that, is there one that takes place like on the beach? I'm not trying to remember from memory because I just uh, looked at it just a little bit ago before we started. Um, am I remembering that correctly? Is, is there one that's kind of like a beach setting? Yeah, uh, the beach was in our film. It was influenced in our film um, for a part of it. But Robin, with her own work, has done several uh, beach tied films. Nice. So perhaps now, it was that. It might have been that then. Okay. Now, how are you um, coping with the, the current lockdown? Are you working on any digital only projects inspired by the current situation? Or how are you dealing with the whole 
the quarantine thing. Uh, digitally speaking, that is why this project was birthed for Robin and I. Uh, we filmed it actually in January, and I edit it and cut it on my phone, but we don't live with each other, so it was a couple phone calls and texts and revisiting our notes back and forth to cut it the way we both felt fit. Um, and it was kind of at a standstill. And then as soon as this happened, it was like this time was granted for us to really finally tie it all together and put it out there. So for me, that's about as digital as I'll go. I'm very, my work aside from that in quarantine, um, thankfully most of it comes online anyways. Oh, so good. I found that by doing some big sales just every day, just making it happen with my existing audience has been um, very good for me. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're able to at least stay a little bit afloat during this whole pandemic and everything. It's, it's very difficult for, for creators at this time, I'm sure. Um, any future plans that you have coming up that you want to do, especially once all of this ends, you know, once we come out of <laughs> quarantine, um, any future projects that you want to work on? You know, my old self would have had a lot of ideas and a lot of my event work was put on a standstill and canceled. And right now it's difficult for me to honestly think about projects in the future. I'm just right now, like every day at a time, uh, focusing on what I already have been working on and finally getting that out into the world, like our film and a couple other projects. So I feel very present, oddly. Um, oh, good. That's really I, good. But I know that I can do, there's nothing I can't do right now. I just am going to do things that I have to make inside. So, right, right. Of course. Now, um, if, if people want to learn more about your work, um, are there websites that we can give out? Or, yeah. you know, any kind of digital information? <laughs> The best is social media, Instagram. Um, that's probably the best preview of my, all my work I'm constantly doing. And my Instagram handle is love includes everyone. I love that. I love that. Love includes everyone. And then Robin's is Robin Bissio, B-I-S-I-O, Films. Okay, so love includes everyone. That's your, your handle on um, Instagram? Correct. Okay. And Robin's is Robin Bizio Films. That's also her Instagram? Yes. Okay. And then, um, and then are there websites too as well? Uh, there are. I will message you what they are. Um, after this, you could link them up. Um, mine is Allie Ribzik Art. My last name's a little difficult. Right, okay. And then, yeah, we can probably include that as well. And then I just wanted to, um, uh, when I used to do uh, interviews before on the radio, I'd like to just ask um, some like random questions just to get to know the artist a little bit better. I hope you are okay with me indulging you. <laughs> oh, um, I love it. I also wanted to just mention something about Robin. Oh, sure. Uh, just as far as digitally, uh, what she's up to right now she's working on a new film project that's set in the woods and it's about the earth's renewal oh and that's her current project that she has coming up yes so uh she's been working on it diligently every day while in quarantine i know writing her scores and notes and um probably implementing her choreography with her imagination without the dan without seeing her dancers so oh right yeah um but yeah she's always very inspired by contemporary the modern times you know what's happening then, in our world right now does she does she have um music or a musician that she works with who creates her music for her or how does that work uh there's been a variety of different sources that she's worked with i can't confirm what those are exactly um however in our film i chose a song um that we're still waiting for the musician's permission, but he's a DJ. Um, and oh, okay. it's just a very light electronic-y song. Oh, very cool. 
Nice. And um, awesome. So just to uh, reiterate, and I'm hoping we can put this on the screen. This is our first time we're, you know, diving into this um, with both feet, I guess. But um, but just in case, I'm going to just reiterate uh, what we have here for you. So love includes everyone. That's your Instagram handle. Love Perfect. includes everyone. And that's just all one word? Yes. Okay. Love includes everyone. And then Robin's um, Instagram, if you want to follow her as well, is Robin Bizio Films. And the last name is spelled B-I-S-I-O. And again, that's Robin Bizio Films. That's her uh, handle on Instagram as well. And um, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some, what I call random questions. Yes, of course. <laughs> a, way, a way to get to know the artist in other ways. Um, so um, here you go. If, if you can instantly become one, you know, if you weren't doing what you do now, if you can instantly become one, what would you want to be an expert in? What would I want to be an expert in? If it could just happen instantly. Uh, I would like to be, have deeper knowledge about herbs and cooking and different plants. But also an expert in plants and, and, and how to prepare them for food or? Yeah. Lighter. <laughs> uh, what are you currently curious about? I would have to say what my first question, my first answer was just uh, really diving deep into cooking right now. Well, yeah, not. I think a lot of us are. <laughs> I think we're all exploring our our cooking side because you know, being in quarantine, you, you kind of have to do that. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. What do you have any favorite dishes that you um that you either have tried or that you want to try? Uh for me I don't like it's very difficult for me to follow a set of directions. Um I like to kind of take a bit of control in that way where I like to just be whimsical and in the moment. Um so I think every day I'm also a vegetarian and I like to use a lot of adaptogenic herbs and what I'm cooking, maybe with my dressings or making, you know, an oil out of it um, and infusing that in my cooking. So I don't know if there's something necessarily I'm loving to try. It's really just intuitive what, as each meal comes. Yeah. What's in the kitchen? How much fresh produce do I have? Yeah, and that's part of it too, isn't it? Because we're all exploring our pantries and refrigerators and going, well, what do I have? I don't want to go to the store. <laughs> so, well, that's great. Well, um, thank you so much for um, joining us today. And again, um, to learn more about Allie, her uh, Instagram handle is love includes everyone. Again, it's love includes everyone. And for Robin, to learn more about her, you can go to her Instagram, which is Robin Bizio Films. That's Robin Bizio Films on Instagram. Yes. And Ali, thank you so much for joining us today and good luck with everything and stay safe and healthy and all that good stuff. I will, you as well. Thank you for taking the time to connect. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks again. And um, also uh, for those of you who want to know, uh, Center Stage is we're going to do these uh, interviews on a daily basis and they're all going to be available um, at 7 p.m. They'll be uploaded to all the various platforms, Instagram, and hopefully uh, YouTube as well and Facebook and um, every evening at 7 p.m. and 7 p.m. West Coast time, Pacific time. Also, if you would like to learn more about Center Stage, you can go to their website, centerstagetheater.org. That's centerstagetheater.org. And, um, uh, you know, as well as many uh, arts organizations, they're all facing big challenges right now because of, of the quarantine. And if you'd like to support Center Stage, you can certainly do, throw, do so through their website. Again, it's centerstagetheater.org. And also when you're on the website, you can look at the top there and you can see their blog and just click on the blog and it'll take you to a WordPress website and it'll tell you all about the Digital Arts Festival. Um, so just uh, log on to centerstagetheater.org, click on the blog and it'll take you to the WordPress site and then you can learn all about the Digital Arts Festival on there as well. And thank you so much for joining us. And again, Allie, thank you for joining us as well. And good luck with everything. And Absolutely. I look forward to the video. Yes. And we'll have to do this again. <laughs>
Absolutely. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.